Well, it's vaccination day. <laughs> so I guess I will be uh, sitting here now. I, I came to the actual right entrance, which is rare because I, I don't come to the Nepean Sports Plexus where this is being held. Uh, and now I'm just waiting for the announcement, got my mask ready, and then they're going to say, everybody for this time zone, come on in. So that's what we got to wait for. But in the meantime, there's quite a few people here. So I guess I'm not alone. As I'm sitting here, I... Uh, there's a guy on the announcement, and he's doing his best to keep everybody entertained. <laughs> he's trying to crack jokes on the intercom system, and he's, um, you know, telling everybody, stay at your car uh, before your time zone is announced. Don't just start wandering around uh, amongst everybody. Kind of makes a lot of sense, right? Um, with the amount of people that are here waiting to go in, or who are in already. Uh, but yeah, he was singing a minute. <laughs> I think he was singing the Love Boat theme. Uh, and he ended it with, we've got vaccines for you instead of coming aboard. You know, all this kind of stuff. So, uh, good job by this guy. I don't know who he is, but uh, if I if I can get him on camera, like listen to him, I'll put him on there. But uh, yeah, why not make it fun, right? It's nothing in this pandemic has been fun, but at least some people can find some humor in it. Hmm. Here we go. I wonder if they let me film. So, uh, all in all, it is 10.55 now. I went in at 10.10, so 45 minutes, and we're done. Um, didn't feel a thing. The needle was nothing. Um, seems like it was very well organized inside. Lots of room. They had us set up in groups of uh, 10. Uh, different areas here in throughout. And uh, yeah, overall, very easy experience. I'm not feeling any pains. They gave me a list of things to look for. Um, I don't think it's going to affect me too, too much. Uh, somebody suggested taking Tylenol uh, in the comments before I go. I did that. So thank you. Uh, I see. I do read comments. Even if I don't get a chance to answer back, I read, I read a lot of the comments out there. Uh, the good and the bad. <laughs> uh, one guy is very upset someplace. I think it was on Tony and... Uh, Jenny's live stream when I joined Tony uh, last week um, I said Pfizer and Moderno oh, and, he's, and he said it's Moderno or Moderna and I, you know, learn learn to pronunciate and I'm just well, sorry uh, I confused you so much that you had no idea what I was talking about uh, if you got that upset <laughs> I get a kick out of people who are, you, you gotta correct somebody right away. Arr, gosh darn it. Can you imagine somebody mispronouncing something? Oh, oh. <laughs> the things people get angry about nowadays, and you know what? The longer this pandemic goes on, the more people get angry about the littlest things anymore. In fact, just putting this video out saying that I got a vaccine is probably angering some people out there. And I'm not telling people out there to not get a vaccine. I'm not telling people out there to get a vaccine. I got a vaccine because my job is kind of reliant on it. And I'm not afraid of vaccines uh, or needles or anything like that. I, I you know, I, I just went through five years of cancer treatments with radiation and chemotherapy and everything and it saved my life so um yeah I'll, I'll take my chances thanks um but that's my choice and everybody else is free to make their choice as well and i won't hold it against anybody who is you know skeptical or anything like that all i would say is 
don't listen to YouTubers <laughs> like me uh, or, uh, you know, vloggers. Go out and listen to the doctors out there and watch. Uh, if you go to YouTube, go to the actual doctors on YouTube and hear what they say and then make up your mind. And if you still don't want to get it, that's still your choice. Just uh, don't get angry with other people who do want to take the choice or and vice versa. Right. Um, at some point, at some point, this is going to end. Either it's going to run its course and just disappear on its own or the vaccines are going to work. Uh, and we get enough technically, technically herd immunity out there that it's it's considered the same as the flu every year. So, um, yeah, I got my vaccine and now the wait is on. <laughs> 120 days to go for my next shot. Thank you.